Everybody, welcome to uh, today's edition of my blog, A Talk with T. Gray. And actually, today's kind of a little bit somber. Uh, received some sad and disturbing news yesterday that a former business associate of mine, uh, 46 years old, just one year older than me, a pretty healthy guy, uh, died suddenly of a heart attack uh, while having lunch with somebody. And uh, you know, his name is Stefan LeBlanc, and definitely. My family's prayers and condolences go out to his family as well. Um, definitely a nice guy, um, and uh, you know, just sad to see you know somebody's life get cut short that way. And my wife and I, we were talking about that last night, and it just really helped us to realize that you know that next day, that next moment, isn't promised to anyone. Um, and so, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, all that your hand finds to do, do it, you know, while you're alive, because once you're dead, you know, that time is up, you can't do anything else. And so, you know, I was just thinking about it. And so today's blog, I just really want to encourage everybody uh, to really maximize uh, every moment, maximize the time that you have that's here. As a matter of fact, I wrote down a couple of notes because I wanted to just share just a few things. I mean, the first thing I just want to share is, you know, we got to live each day like it's the last one that we have. Now, I don't mean that it means that we live with abandon and we do crazy stuff because we feel like, okay, we might die tomorrow. But I mean, you got to you got to make each day count. All right. You got to make each day count in terms of really working toward your goals and doing good things for people. And, you know, all those things that you said you wanted to accomplish in your lifetime and that you wanted to do for yourself that you've been or and your family that you've been putting off. Don't put them off. You know, you keep, you know, we, we say next year or next year, but we don't even know that we'll even be here next year. So we have to start working at these things now. Uh, you know, they say that the uh, biggest room in the world uh, you know, is the room that's filled with regret, right? And so you don't want to be filled with regret. So you got to really make every day count as you work toward your goals and your dreams. And um, you go to be all that you're supposed to be, all that God said that you can be. Um, another thing that I wrote down here is that you want to love your family and love your friends like it's the last time you're going to ever see them. You know, we were thinking about, you know, Stefan and we were just thinking, you know, that morning, you know, whenever he left his house, he was full of plans. He was full of, you know, designs. He was probably working towards something. And, you know, he probably he and his wife, you know, they had a conversation and she probably thought he was coming home. And, and look at that. He didn't he didn't come home. And so you want to make sure that any time, you know, you, you know, that you're dealing with your family and your friends, that you love them. And that you love them like you're never going to see them again. Even if you're angry with them, even if you're having a dispute, you know, don't let your wife or don't let your husband leave the house without letting you know you love them. You know, don't let your kids leave the house without letting them know that you love them. And, and your friends, you know, sometimes we have disputes with people and we have disagreements. Man, don't let that stuff linger. You know, we got we to gotta solve these things. We got to squash them quick. Because you know what? We never know when, we, you know, we never know if you might even have the opportunity to uh, apologize or clear the air. So let's make sure that, uh, you know, that we love people, you know, like it's the last time we're going to see them. Uh, and that's not to be morbid. That's just to be real. You know, it's, it's, things happen. Um, you know, you got to pursue your dream. You got to do that right now. I mean, that kind of goes with my first point. You got to, you know, make each day count. You know, so many people are saying, you know what, I'm going to start a business. I'm going to get free. I'm going to Travel the world. Do it. You better go ahead and do it now. You know, stop putting it off. I mean, it's so easy to put it off and just let one day turn to the next day and tomorrow turns into next week. And next thing you know, it's five years of just doing the same stuff that you've been doing and not getting anywhere. You know what? We got to put our, pe our, our pedals to the metal and make some stuff happen. You know something? Here's something that's really important. Set your kids up to win right now. You know, you've been thinking about maybe next year you'll do that insurance policy or next year you'll start saving money for them. No, you got to do that right now because you, you never know. 
uh, if you'll even have the opportunity to do it and you don't want to leave your kids, you know, to struggle. You know, the scripture says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So we can't settle for just getting by. We can't settle for just enough. We got to do more than that, folks. We got to we got to set our kids up to win. And, and uh, the last thing is this, you know, take this opportunity right now to get right with God. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to, you know, force my religious beliefs on anybody. But all I can say is, you know, that's one of the things that so many of us put off. And now is the time to, you know, definitely, you know, get right with God. Find out what his purpose is for you and start walking in it. Um, and I know he wants us to do good. I know he wants us to love our neighbor. I know he wants us to make a difference in this world while we're here. And so, you know, now is the time to do that. So, uh, Stefan LeBlanc, rest in peace. Um, I know you did a lot of good things during your life. And you know what? You know, one of the things that you've done in passing is you've taught all of us a lesson and we're going to take it. So God bless you and God bless your family.